Hello my fellow paint monsters, how have you been this week? I'm Aga and this is Hungry for Paint, a channel about handmade watercolours. Today we're going to be mixing colours using paints from Artistic Isle that I reviewed last week. If you missed that video I suggest you check it out. These colours are pretty vibrant and juicy so I expect them to produce a nice range of bright mixes. Naphtal Red might be my very favourite mixing colour out of all of these. It produces some very vibrant and juicy oranges as well as some very nice purples and maroons. And mixing Naphtal Red and Raw Umber together results in some very nice brownish reds in my opinion. And I really do like the greens. So as you can see there are some really nice mixer colours here and they give quite a lot of possibilities. In the random mixes section of this video I wanted to produce some greens and teal as well as some violets and hopefully a nice grey using indigo and raw umber. I was also curious to see how Chianti works together with the shimmery elder wand and as you can see they go quite nicely together. I was able to get a nice rather neutral grey using indigo and raw umber and I love the violets that alizarin crimson and indigo produce together. And I also think sub green and nude work well together as uh, the sub green adds a little bit of body to nude. And sub green works surprisingly well mixing with other colours. It mixes quite evenly for such a separating colour. As a standalone colour it separates into blue and yellow quite distinctly. But in mixes with other colours the separation seems to disappear a little. Not entirely but it's less visible than I thought it would be. I'm also going to test these together with my Sakura Pima Micron pen. So if you like to draw and paint, this is going to be interesting for you. You can see that if you draw first and then paint on top of that, some of these colours are a little bit opaque, like the gold ochre, autumn mist or sap green, and the line doesn't fully show through. And if you want to draw on top of what you've painted, with some colours you will have no trouble whatsoever, like the naphtal red for example, or indigo. But on top of some of them the line does get quite a bit thicker, like the gold ochre, autumn mist or newt. The line on top of newt does get a little bit blurry. So you'll have to decide on your own whether this is something that bothers you or not. Alright, this is all I have for you today. I hope this video was useful to you. I'm going to see you next week with another review. Visit Hungry Folk Paint on Instagram on Wednesday for a preview of our next maker. And if you don't want to miss my future videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye!